Welcome back to Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and today we're going to go over iGen. iGen is a stock that I've been invested in for a couple years now. This is a stock that I really want to update now because there's a lot of things that could potentially go on for the stock and I want to go over all of that right now. So right here, we're looking at iGen on the daily time frame. There's a few things I want to go over. This stock has been in a downtrend since about August of 2020. We topped out right here at around two cents and we've just been trading down ever since. And so I want to show you guys some similarities to when we bottomed out here back in early 2020. We had key support at around triple zero nine. And then we also had some resistance here at double o one four double o one five and so if we look at where we are today we are now treating those same levels as support and resistance you can see we tagged this triple o nine we came back up we tested resistance one time we got rejected and if we look at what this triangle is doing our triangle is narrowed out and we are at a conclusion of this triangle. And so what we were looking forward to at this moment in time was to see if iGen was going to break down from this point or if we were going to break out. And so what we saw was we saw iGen start to break back into this triangle. We started to test this level of support. We kept holding and then we broke out, had very good price action right here. And then from this point, we came back down. We needed to get a test on our old level of resistance. We needed to treat it as support. And so right now, today, this is Saturday, but we closed Friday above both our levels of resistance. And so now we are treating our former level of resistance as support. And the beautiful thing about where we are in terms of timing is if we start to map this out even further, if I put a little trend line right here just to show us that currently we are, dare I say it, on an uptrend here for iGen ever since we bottomed out. And so every single time we've come back down to this point, you can see we tested as support, broke up, tested as support, broke up, tested it as support. And now here we are looking to go back up again. And so you may be asking me, what are some catalysts that could potentially bring this bad boy up? So if I take you guys to our monthly progress report, this can be found at CSE.com, ticker symbol IGN. And so from there, if you look at their latest report, this one here, January of 2023, released in February. If we look at something very important, and that is right here. From a statewide solicitation under iGen's GSA VA schedule contract status, company has completed its response to offer consultancy services for logistics and supply chain management worth approximately $1.5 to $2 million over six months. And so this date of response is expected by February 13th. So currently, I am recording this video on February 11th. And so why is this so significant? The contract is worth 1.5 to 2 million over a six month period. If we look at the current market cap of iGen, we are trading at a mere $2.7 million. So this contract is almost the entirety of the market cap. And so when I look at the chart and I see us starting to build an uptrend, I see a two year long triangle on the verge of a breakout. What catalyst could we potentially have to break out from this point? And I don't want to say stars are aligning, but we have had steady accumulation on this stock since about October of 2020. So since this downtrend has started, we have had clear divergence. We've had strong accumulation. And as we've been accumulating, the stock price has been going down. And so now we are finally starting to see some life in this stock on a technical level. As we are now breaking out of this downward triangle, we have broken a formal level of support and resistance. And now we are starting a mini uptrend. And the only thing we're missing is news to catapult this higher. And so when we're looking at any sort of catalyst on Monday, if we get news that iGen has got this contract, then there is going to be some positive price movement with this stock. However, if we don't get any news Monday, 
I expect by Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday, we get some sort of news related to this contract. We're either gonna get this contract or we're not gonna get this contract. So as an investor, obviously, I would love for us to get this contract because I don't know where the price could take us. We've been coiled up for a long time. A lot of people have been holding this for a while. I have seen intraday runs of 150% plus on this stock. So if we get a contract that's worth the market cap, I could see this thing going pretty crazy. However, if we don't get this contract, it doesn't mean that we are absolutely done with this stock. Yes, we'll probably see some downward price action, maybe some more consolidating. iGen continues to progress behind the scenes. They have recently merged with company Prologue. They continue to get more counties to use their services. In addition, they've also added consultancy services for their logistics supply chain. And so with all of these new things happening, if we do get good news with this contract on Monday or Tuesday, this could be a huge, huge pivotal turning point for this stock. And so this two year long downtrend may be worth it if we get this contract. And so I'm very excited. I wanted to make this update because on a technical level, it looks very nice. We are getting to a point where we're breaking out of a downward triangle. The only thing we're missing is some news. And so there is some news coming out on the horizon, whether it's gonna be good or bad, we will have to wait and see. And so. If there's good news, I will be here to make a video. If it's bad news, I'll still be here to make a video. And so I wanted to just make this video update you guys. It's been a while since I've covered this stock. For all of you guys asking, I am still holding. I am still averaging down. And so we've had some very nice prices to average down on. So hopefully all of you guys who are still in this stock with me, we may have a brighter future ahead of us. And so I'm excited to see where this thing goes. I want to keep this short and sweet. So if you guys enjoyed this update, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe. This is Dummy Boy Finance. I'm Dummy Boy and I'll see you guys in the next one.